Hello, this is Matt here from Practical BI, and today's quick tip is how to add shadows to your visual. Uh, this feature was added by Microsoft in the May 2020 update. So let's go ahead and have a look at how we can add these shadows in. So I've got a, a bar chart here, very simple sales by country. I'm just going to select my bar chart. I'm going to go to my format tab at the top. Um, I'm going to go through the options and you can see we've got shadow here towards the bottom. I'm going to expand that out and start just by turning the toggle on. As you can see straight away, there's a default shadow added there and I have a shadow effect applied to my visual. Let's have a look at some of the options. I'll go back onto the format tab, back into shadow. And let's scroll down here and have a look. I can change the color of my shadow. I could have a, uh, a red shadow or any, any color I like there. Um, let's stick with black for now. Um, I can change my shadow position to inside the visual, uh, given the sunken effect or outside the visual. And then there are a series of different presets for the position um, of my shadow. Um, I can um, have a shadow currently on the bottom right. I can have, have a shadow on the top left um, on, uh, on any position, or I can look at a custom value. And the custom option lets me change the size of the shadow. Um, so you can see I could have it uh, huge like that if you wanted to. Um, I can change the blur of the shadow, um, so fade it out. Um, I can change the angle that the shadow applies. Um, so again, linked to those, those presets, I can change the, the direction there that, that, that that's applying. I can change the distance from my visual that the shadow falls, um, giving the effect of the visual being um, further away from the canvas. And I can change the transparency of my shadow, so completely transparent through to um, completely uh, through to completely opaque. Um, and that's it. Uh, as always, thanks for listening. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please do add them to the comments underneath the video. And as always, please do uh, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.